Today is August 14th, 2021, and it's a really, really special day. It's one year today since I filmed and uploaded my first floss tube. So I'm excited to be filming today. We have lots of awesome things um, today that we're going to be doing. Um, my name is Mary, and I'm the X-Ray X-Stitcher. And let's get started. I'm going to go through what we're going to do today. We have lots of awesome stuff. It's going to be whip parade day, so I'm going to show you all my whips. I'm also going to kind of, it's more like a year recap, really, because I'm going to show you all the things that I fully finished, my whips, but it's also going to be a kind of a blend for my normal floss tube, because I'm also going to be showing like haul and um, my plans for this coming month. So let's go through the agenda. I'll go through any life updates, then we'll do my FFOs, or fully finished objects that I completed over the last year. Then we'll do the whip parade, and then I'll go over my plans, and then my haul and stitchy kindness. And then at the end, stay tuned, because I have something special to share with you guys to celebrate my one year. So life updates. Kids started school. That's been going well. Um, this week was their first week. They started on Tuesday. So everybody's gotten up on time. They've gotten to school. I haven't heard too many complaints yet, so that's good. They are five days a week in person. So we'll see how that goes and how long that continues. Um, at the end of July, which is the reason I didn't film like the first weekend of the month, which is what I tend to do, we were actually in Iowa visiting my family and it was wonderful. We spent five days. Um, we didn't do a whole lot. Um, we stayed pretty close. To their home we did go like to the store a couple times but other than that um, I wanted to kind of keep the boys kind of inside like my whole family's been vaccinated so I wasn't too concerned you know about that but I didn't want the boys being exposed to that Nathan has not been vaccinated obviously he's not old enough um, work the reason I didn't film last week is because I picked up an extra day at work work has been a lot Sorry, my husband's air compressor is going off, if you can hear that. It's just chaos. It's always come sort of chaos when I'm filming. It's okay. We're all friends here. Um, it's been a lot. This week, we had to go on diversion. For those of you who don't know, who may be new here, I'm an x-ray tech at a county hospital. And when a hospital goes on diversion, it means we have no room. On Wednesday... I went to work early and I stayed late. We have 24 beds in our ER and we had 29 patients in the ER. It was a lot. It was a lot. So I am kind of tired. Um, what is making this particular surge so difficult is we're also short staffed. So not only do we have all these new patients we don't have enough people to care for everyone and so that's part of the reason we've had to go on diversion and also we are full like every bed we have it was full especially on Wednesday I think we had a little bit more room yesterday but so it's just been a lot and I'm very tired and but we're gonna get through this I'm just hoping my kids stay healthy at school I'm a little I'm a little nervous but enough of that let's go on to cross stitch let's put the stress behind us and have fun. So what have I finished over the last um, year? So the first two things I'm gonna show were not things, I don't think I finished these over the last year of floss, floss tube, like finished stitching them, but I did like fully finish them. Um, so the first one that I'm gonna show is um, Witches and Stitches by Clouds Factory. And I know that this this was probably completed like in January of um, probably 2019, but I like fully finished it um, while I started floss tube. It's just a really cheap frame that kind of looks kind of crappy, which was my goal. And then I got these little um, candy things at Michael's. They were like on sticks, and I pulled the sticks out and just glued it to the frame. I did frame this myself. I did okay. But I'm, when it comes to fully finishing things, I don't care if it's perfect. I just want it done. Fully finishing is not my favorite. But honestly, I don't have any just like finishes that aren't fully finished. Everything I have finished has been fully finished. So I'm proud of that. Sorry, my kids are arguing. 
So my next up finish, oh, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted today because it's so loud and I'm not congested and if I'm sneezing, I'm sorry, I, allergies. This fabric is probably 18 count Garibaldi's, Ger something, I can't remember, um, but I did get this off um, Etsy. 18 count and then the stitch it the um i used um for flosses i used the dmc all dmc i didn't use any fancy flosses in this one i did use like glow in the dark on the eye and i think on the moon and the ghost are done in glow in the dark so there's that one the next thing i fully finished was season screamings by the witchy stitcher um I not get the glare on. I got a really, really cheap frame from, I think, Walmart, and I slapped it in there. What is this? Monster. I think this is Picture This Plus Monster Mash is what this fabric was. And then um, Glow in the Dark for the teeth and the face. I think all the white is Glow in the Dark, if I remember correctly. It was kind of like a risk putting this much green on a green fabric, but let me tell you, oh my gosh, should it turn out awesome or what? Sorry, you see my ring light and all that. So let's just put this guy over here because he's so awesome. I think that's 18 count. Usually all my stuff is like 18 count. So What next? I have two more finishes. Excuse me. These were things I actually finished um, over the last year. But they're little ones. They're in my, um, you can't see anything. My cross stitch journal. I got this idea originally from Bendy Stitchy. I found this journal that was like made for me basically. I don't have much in here. It's a little sad. Look, look at that. So cool. So here's my first page. Just random stuff I found from here, there, and everywhere. This first one in here was from a cross stitch magazine. I'm sorry, I don't have, oh wait, I think I have it written down. Look at me. It's called Knock Knock. It was just cross stitch 2011. The designer is um, Blackberry Lane Designs. And that was fabric I dyed myself. And then that's just DMC. So that's cute. And then the last two things I have in here are Adrenal Gland and then Gallbladder by um, Heartstring Samplery. And so she does these uh, anatomical like alphabets and then she gives them to shops and she does like um, charities with them. They're like $5 patterns. The next one has come out and that's in my haul. So that's cute. I would def I definitely want to do more smalls and get them in here because this, this is actually amazing. <laughs> I don't know what kind, what fabric this is. It was just fabric scraps that were sent to me as samples with some of my other orders. So I don't know what that is. I think it's 14 count, but I'm not even sure of that. I used, there were a few substitutions in there. I don't know. I know like this red is something different. It's like current, I don't know. It's back in one of my old floss tubes if you are so encouraged to know exactly how I did that. All right, so that's all my fully finished things all the stuff that I either fully finished or finished in the last year I'm gonna pause I want to get my stuff like put away so it doesn't get damaged in the chaos that's about to ensue so hold on okay everything is safely put away except for that's crooked it's okay I'll fix it so let's go down to the whip parade so as I was going through I'm including my knitting not including my knitting I have 20 whips um, yes, 20. And then I have my one with knitting whip that I'll show kind of like at the end. I kind of have rough dates when they were started that I can share. Um, I don't really have them in any good order. Like in my list, I kind of have them in order, but then when I took everything out of Q-snaps and everything, I just tossed the project bags in as I went. So I'm just going to pull them out. They're not going to go in any particular order, but let's see what I've done this year. Okay, one more. Let's just do this one first since it's right here. 
This is my Templar Prophecy. This is what it's going to look like when it's completed. So last year, I took pictures of all my whips, and I'm going to put those in so we can see how much progress I've made for throughout the year. Um, so here is about where it was last year. Here. For some reason, this picture didn't save, but I have it like in the Q snap. So here it was last year. And let's see how far I got. When did this one get started? About July 2019. So here's how far I've gotten. Nothing is ironed. Sorry. No, I'm, well, I'm not really sorry. It's just that would take too much time. I did take everything out of Q snaps that like would have hid any stitching. So let's see, and I've actually gotten quite a bit done on this um, since like in the last month. So I think this year I've completed like this page and then I've started down here, I think. This is fabric. This is like one of the first fabric dyeing things I did. I can't remember, probably tan and maybe a little dark brown in there. It's 310, 18 count eight is what it is. 310 I'm just doing it in black and then there's a clay by Kim Needleminder his name is Dublin and he's adorable so there's that one love it it lives in a Wizard of Oz bag that I got off a D stash I think there we go so next one up is one that I started this year. Um, it is All Souls Beer Landon that got started in January 2021. Lives in this bag that Karina made me. You're going to see so much bags plus stuff. You're going to probably get sick of me, but so much. It's my favorite favorite. Um, Karina made me this bag. Um, I am doing this in a variegated DMC 115 in my DMC. Oh, here. Oh, sorry. This is what it, uh, it's going to look like when it's completed. Um, my floss live in this little hedgehog bag that I actually got from some back from Sebastian at Bees and Tea Stitching. And then here's how far I've gotten this year. I've actually gotten progress done since last time you saw it. I like got a page finished. I finished so many pages this last month and a half. So much. So here's where I've gotten to. I've done really well. So this is fabric I dyed myself. It's 18 count Ada. Using all sorts of pretty colors. And then this is our kind of wedding-ish sampler, kind of like when we met. This is the year that my husband and I met. Here's all of our initials. And I think last time, you probably saw it, I was like over here somewhere, so I finished that whole section right there. Looks so good. That's the one thing about a whip parade. It makes me want to stitch all the things. All of them. I just want to get them all out and stitch them all simultaneously. I'm just kind of putting things back as I go, um, just so I don't have like a gigantic mess at the end, so it's like somewhat organized. All right, so I'm going to open up my big whip storage bag here. Lots of zipper sounds. And we're just going to go from the top and on our way down. I have two different whips, excuse me, I've got burpee burpee. I have two different whips that live in this bag. Karina bag. It's like a big thing that opens up and then you have stuff in each end. You have like, these are floss pockets all the way through here. I can't remember how many there are, a lot. So let's do this one first. This is an x-ray skull that I found off Etsy. And all this stuff will be linked below as best as I can. Um, the colors are changed in this one, so instead of like the light part, like the white parts being white, they're black. Um, here is what's going to look like when it's completed, and here's where it looked like 
this is what it looked like last year. Talking, sorry. And let's see how far I've gotten. Not much difference. I just kind of kept working on that outline over here. Um, this is stitched on 18 count Ada that I got off Mystic Fabrics. It has like a weird name that's like ice and snow and dirt kind of all mixed together. I can't remember what it was. I've tried to find it. Um, it looks white on camera, but it's not. In person, it has like some gentle um, modeling in it. And it's more of an off-white. It's really pretty. All they called for DMC is what I'm using. This needle minder wasn't my student x-ray marker. So, this is really cool. I like it. Oops. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I'd like to, it's now in Pattern Keeper, that's what I was gonna say. Um, it wasn't in Pattern Keeper before, and I was doing it off the paper, and I, it was hard to work on. But now that it's in Pattern Keeper, I will definitely get more progress on that this year. What's next? I have Giant Harry Potter next, and this one actually got a lot of work um, this last month. Here is what G Giant Harry Potter is going to look like when it's done. And then here is where it was um, at the beginning of this year, of my floss tube year, no, last August. You guys know what I mean. Here's what it looked like. how far I've gotten. I'm just going to fold it over. I'm still up at the top. So here you go. So even in this last, since you've last seen it, I put in the trio. I've gotten that done and then I've started working on this nine and three quarters bit. It looks so good. This is 18 count Ada I dyed myself. And that needle minder. Oh no, I can't remember. It's an octopus. I love octopus. So yeah, I'd like to make more progress on this. All these, I'm gonna say that over and over again. I wish I had more progress, but I'm not gonna be hard on myself. There's only one project I'm a little disappointed that I didn't make more substantial progress on. I think it's up next. Oh, when did I start that? Did I even tell you? I did. Giant Harry Potter was started in um, January 2020, and then the Skull X-ray was in like December 2019. All right, so next up is the one I wish I would have gotten more progress on this year, and it made me realize I'm gonna work on it more consistently. Um, it's called Planet Dragons. It's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Here is a picture of it when it's going to be completed. Here's where it was last year. And let's see how far I've gotten. Yeah, like I try not to be hard on myself with my stitching. It's fun. But this one I'm like, oh, I should have gotten further. I only, I didn't even complete a whole page. Like, I completed a page, but this was already over half done. That's all I've done. So this is definitely gonna be a more consistent project, for sure. 18 count, white Ada, all the called for DMC. This is gonna be a gift for my son, my oldest son. So yeah, that's gonna be something that's gonna come out every month. It's in Pattern Keeper now, and use a stitch. No. Um, it's a lot easier to stitch on. I just haven't gravitated toward it. Gravitated to it, and I want two more. And then this is the floss buddy for this one. I asked her to find me Karina of X Plus to find me like planets, space fabric. And that's what she came up with. Okay. Um, it looks like the next one is a 
new start from this year. Oh, and this just lives in a five dollar tote bag. I got that five below. All right, this one. Oh, when did Planet Dragons suck today? Um, Planet Dragons was started in November 2019. So that'll be more of a focus. This next one is a sal with my friend X-ray X Stitcher on Instagram. She doesn't have the underscore like I do. So that's how we met because of our names and we have become really, really good friends. So when she grad graduated x-ray school from this last, was it May, I think? I'm sorry, all my time runs together. We came up with this Radiate Positivity Sal. Um, here is what it's gonna look like when it's done. And then here is where I've gotten to. So a nice little start. It is being stitched on avocado 20 count Ada. Not gonna lie, I don't love 20 count. My stitches, I pull my stitches too tight. And so my stitches kind of slip. And so I need to be more careful about that. I think I would really like it just fine if I didn't pull so tight. So yeah, this is so cute though. I'm, I'm excited to have this one done. It'll look good on my wall. When did I start that one? Uh, it was started in, on June 6th. That was like the, probably the day I um, had floss tube. It was the June 6th because a lot of them say June 6th. I don't have a floss buddy. I know, big surprise. I have it on floss rings. So I was like, not floss rings, a floss card. I was like in a big hurry to start it. Like I was ready to go. I didn't want to wait. It lives in this bag I got off Amazon. That is just so good. Octopus and skull. Yes, please. That was Karina from Bags Plus. I asked her if she could do something for me, and she's confirmed it. So, anywho, what's next? Let's do this one. My only stitch all the things bag. Little stinker, little skunkies. Love this bag. It's one of my favorite bags, if not my favorite bag. This is 100 Owls by um, Owl Forest Embroidery. Um, here is where it's going to look what it's going to look like when it's completed. Oh, I cannot get words out of my mouth. So hard. And then my flosses live in this floss buddy. This one, I might have the pattern showing. It's a free stitch along, I don't. It's a free stitch along on Al Forest Embroidery. So it has this side and then a clippy and then a big zippered pouch. I asked her to make one of the clips and she did. She's a little genius. All right, so 100 Owls. This is a gift for my grandmother. It was started recently. Um, I have June 6th. So I started it somewhere between May and the beginning of June. And here's where I've gotten to. A nice start. I took this on our trip to Iowa, so I got some really good stitching. I think last time you saw it, um, I had like just this top border done. Oh, you can't see anything. Just like one of the top borders done. I think it was this, this half I had complete. So then I've completed all of that, and then I've worked on these little guys down here. This is being stitched on 18 count Ada from Be Stitch Me. It's either fall or autumn. I think it's fall, but I can't remember. She has both. She has a fall and she has an autumn, and I'm not sure which one's which. So pretty. I'm using the threads. Um, I got the kit from Al... And I didn't get the kit. I got the threads from Al Forest Embroidery. They were out of their salt and pepper, so I substituted coloring cotton. Something. It's a little bit darker probably than their salt and pepper, but it still looks really good. Oh, here, it's fall. Oh, no, no, okay, lied, lied. It is Be Stitch Me Autumn. I have the card right there. And then Old Moss is what I substituted for the salt and pepper. Okay. I'm sorry, ugh, allergies. I mean, they're killing me. I'm going to have to take extra 
allergy medication. I think it's part of the I'm just fried. My brain's fried. That's why I can't talk. But like I've said a hundred times, we're all friends here. You guys will take me as I am. Anywho. Okay, this is a Christmas stocking that I'm making for my youngest son, Nathan. Um, here's what it'll look like when it's completed. And then where did it, where was it last year? Right here. And let's see how far I got. Not great. Those of you know, I don't like winter, so it's Christmas things are hard for me to stitch on. I mean, oh my gosh, it looks so cute though. Look at it. Look at those owls. Those snowflakes are awful. I hate, you can see them. Those little tiny snowflakes, I hate them. But it's like, then I look at it and I'm like, oh, that's so good. This is a dimensions kit. Um, I'm using all the flosses in the kit. This is 14 count blue Ada that came in the kit. Oh yeah, this is so cute. So I will have this done for him, hopefully before I die. I wanna do Christmas stockings for all of us. But it's taken, when did I start this? It's an embarrassing long time ago. Um, August 2019. I'm about half done, a little less than half done. It's fine, it's fine. It's cross stitch, it's fine. That was one of the first things I started when I started stitching again. Ugh, sorry. What lives in here? Oh, and this one is just a crappy old icky tote bag. I need to get, I'm going to order a Christmas tote bag for that because I hate that thing. It's too small. Ooh, this one's good. I got a lot of progress on this one. This is um, Halloween at Hawthorne Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. It's that one right there. I started that this year. Um, I have March 3rd. Guys, I got a whole block done since you saw it last. I just started stitching and I literally could not stop. And it was like such a good stopping point, like I almost just continued on. But I'm like, it's a good stopping point, stop while you're ahead. Here's what I've gotten to, guys. Look at it. So good. Last time you saw it, I think, if I remember correctly, I just had a little bit of the grass done. Like, I had, like, all this done, like, um, the tombstones, and I was, like, almost done with the grass. I just couldn't stop. It looks so good. Um, this is a stitch along I'm doing with Sebastian from Bees and Teas Stitching. The hashtag will be linked below. It's like acronym things. This is a needle minder from um, House of May. It's Mary. Isn't that Mary? There's Winifred, Mary, and Sarah. So that Mary from Hocus Pocus. This is, oh yeah, look at that fabric. Oh, it's so delicious. Um, I dyed it myself, 18 count Ada using beautiful fall colors, and man, it's good. It's so good. So I cannot wait to get this back out. It's a really fun stitch. It lives in this owl bag. I don't know why, it's just what I pulled out. And then, pull that out. This floss buddy, teas, bees, bees and teas. And actually when I picked out uh, you have owed something, I think. And when I, this was a floss buddy that was in that one. I'm like, well, how perfect. P's and T's. I think this is one of the first, maybe the second floss buddy I purchased. Now I have all the floss buddies. Like, everything needs a floss buddy. And I'm dropping everything. All right. Okay. I messed up. This is the wrong project. I'm going to start again with this one. This is um, a seasonal 
um, Russian nesting doll. I have all the seasons. This is spring. There's what it's going to look like when it's done. Only this has like a frame around it. It lives in, uh, the flosses live in this butterfly floss buddy. I thought this was hor horrid old tags and it's not. And I pulled out my project and I'm like, oh wait. It lives in this Wizard of Oz bag. Speaking of Wizard of Oz, I forgot to show something. One of my fully finished objects. We'll do it at the end. And this is the start I've gotten. I'll go this way. Not much. Just a wee bit. I just started it randomly one day. Um, 18 count self dyed Ada. So pretty. This pattern's a little bit tricky to read. I think that's maybe why I don't I'm not further along. But it'll get done. Oh, right. Ooh, this is a good one. This is Halloween Quaker. Uh, right there. So cool. You guys have all seen this from We Love Studio. Well, I should make assumptions. I'm sure many of you have seen that. It's a very popular pattern. Um, I started this on my birthday last year on September 30th. Um, so it was a new start for this year. I don't have this, a floss buddy on this. I have a card. I'm using all the classic color works and then the 310 that they called for. This was, I think this was my first time using any kind of like fancy floss. I am stitching this on 18 count haunted, I think, by Pictureless Plus. And then I actually got a page finish once you've seen this last. Look at that. It looks so good. So I can't remember what I all finished since you've seen it last. I think I've finished those skeletons and maybe this heart and maybe that motif. I know it was a page finish. So I have two pages left. That needle minder is top knot stitcher shop. So good. I love it. It's a fun stitch. I really enjoy Quakers. I have discovered. I love stitching on this and I love all souls, all souls beer landing. So and if I'm like missing like any details or anything since I'm a little scattered today, please leave me a comment. I'm glad to tell you or find out anything you need to know. Periodic tables, up next, one of our favorites. You guys see this one pretty much every week. Um, when was periodic tables started? It was started um, May 18th, 2020. This is a gift for my oldest son, who loves math and all things. He lives in a Halloween bag I got somewhere, and that's so cool. I love that fabric. 18 count self dyed Ada. I'm using um, the called for DMC in the pattern. I have had to be careful with this pattern because there's been like alternative spelling, alternative spellings. So I just pull up a periodic table to make sure I'm spelling everything correctly. Um, did I show? Here's what it's going to look like when it's done. And I kind of have a picture of where it was last year. I don't know. It's close to where it was last year. So there's that. And then let's see how far I've gotten. Since you've seen it last, I got, um, I think 12 more elements done. Since like my floss tube thing is kind of off, usually I would already have worked on it this month, but so there we go. So that top, this top main section is complete. And now I'm down in that bottom section. So I have that much left, 
and then up here will be like a title and a key. It's hard to get it all in, but I'll do my best. There we go. Look at that. Look at that fabric. Man, I just look at my fabrics I've dyed and it's like, man, it's so pretty. I love it. I don't know what needle minder I have on there. A guitar pick, I think I found. Yeah, like a space guitar pick. Guitar picks make good needle minders. They actually end up being pretty strong. My sticky back. My backs are always just a atrocious dumpster fire. What do I have next? So here. Oh, this is Alice with Flamingo. I love this project. She gets to live in here. This bag I got from a Bendy Stitchy D stash. When did I start Miss Alice? She was started, um, oh yeah, the same day that Periodic Table was started. I, I remember that now. Which was um, the 18th of May, 2020. Here is what Alice is going to look like when she's done. She's pretty. And then here's where she was last year. And here is where I've gotten. I'm surprised she's not done. But I started a lot of things this year. And since you saw it last, I finished this page right here. So she's coming along. Isn't she pretty? She's over half done now. 18 count off-white Ada, all the called for DMC. This is Miss um, Pagodi Arts, or Pagodi Designs. I think it's Pagodi Arts. She does like coloring pages and cross-stitch designs. There is the left of my student x-ray markers. The right one is on my skull x-ray, and then the left is on Miss Alice here. I have all five of the set of the Alice in Wonderland. There's Alice, the Queen, Mad Hatter, Cheshire Cat, and the White Rabbit. After this one's done, White Rabbit's going to be started. And the Floss Buddy I have for this one actually has three projects in that. This is Pumpkin one. This, I think this one was a gift from Karina for a birthday. So I have Periodic Table, Alice, and then uh, Poe, which you haven't seen all year. There are two projects I got absolutely no progress on. Boo. What is up next? Thank you for being patient when I kind of get everything put away. I'm at, you know, I say this every time, but it's like I pull it all out so I can take pictures of it. So next year I'll have it all like in a folder. That is one thing. There was a lot of learning over this last year on how best to organize pictures and how I do floss tube. So there's been a lot of growth and I, I'm kind of getting into a good rhythm now. Excuse me, I need a drink. Thank you for being patient with me. What's next? What should we do now? Okay, here is Horrid Old Hag by Al Forest, or not Al Forest at all, it's Autumn Lane Stitchery. This little canvas trick-or-treat bag. Here is what she's going to look like when she's done. This was a start for my youngest son. He got to go through my kitted projects and he got to pick one for himself. One was she started. Um... End of February, beginning of March. I have March 3rd, but that was like when I filmed the floss tube. Just a wee start, but it looks really good. This is done on Caramel Apple, I think is what this is called from Be Stitch Me, 18 Count Ada. Oh, it's a skull button that I made into a needle minder. All the called for DMC. There's not very many DMC colors for this. love this one. So good. And then inside is orange. It's a lilla. Here 
that one. Now let's go on to another Haid. After I get this put away. This one lives in this big old thing that you can't see because I did it too high. I got this for Rad Week when I worked very briefly at a different hospital than I work at now. I was like PRN there. So I love this bag though. What is this? When did this one start? Let me just take a look. Sorry, my kids are being loud again. Let's see. Torso and arms. Um, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. It is a Leonardo da Vinci um, drawing that's been converted by Heaven and Earth Design. It was started on February 27th, 2020. Here's where it was last year when I started Floss Tube. And it's not much different. I mean, some. Um, I originally was parking with this project, and then I got Pattern Keeper somewhere in there, and I quit parking. And now I do. Cross, I, for my Hades and full coverage, I really like Cross Country by Page. So there's where I got to. Not awful. I mean, not a whole lot either. But that is what it is. This one's enormous. Like, I can't even, I tried to, like, roll it up. Mm -mm. I think I need to get like a longer Q-snap like I have for Planet Dragons. And even then, I think it's almost twice the stitches as Planet Dragons. This thing is huge. Um, I'm using all the called for um, DMC. 18 count off-white Ada. And then this, this is the first Floss Buddy I ever bought. This Halloween. back. Oh, I have it in there weird or something. I'll fix it later. Okay, let's do another one that didn't, um, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, this one. This is, um, Poe Portrait, I think it's called. Oh, hold on. Poe Portrait, yes. This was started right before I started Floss Tube. Um, August 6, 2020. Um, here is what Poe will look like when he's finished. This is another Heaven and Earth Designs. Here's where I was last year. And I'm in the same exact spot because I don't think I worked at the, on this at all. Which is a shame. Maybe I haven't worked on it because it's like in this weird hoop that I just had. So I probably need to get a Q-snap for this too. I snapped off it. And this thing, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is why I haven't worked on it. I, I'm remembering now. I hate this hoop. Like it's really hard to tighten. It like breaks your fingers. So I just need to get a Q-snap for it. And I think I'll work on it. You can't see much. It's all like white stitching. Like off white stitching. So when, I think after I replace, it's big, um, I replace that hoop. I think I will definitely stitch on this more. Um, and the Floss Buddy is that pumpkin one I showed. And it's in this really crappy bag. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's in like an icky bag and an icky hoop. Poor Poe. He deserves better. Alright, this is another one I did not work on at all. Like, I'm surprised I haven't worked on this one. And I don't know why. Um, I got this bag, probably on Etsy, so good. Um, this, I'm doing a village using Mill Hill kits. So I think this is library right there. Um, and I'm doing nine of them and I have all of them. I'm doing it, is it nine or 10? I think I'm doing 10. So it's going to be like two strips of five. I didn't work on this once. And I'm disappointed in myself. Um, here's where it was last year. And here's where it is now. No difference. So this is definitely going to come out in October. Like, I'm going to get all the stitching done. Um, I dyed this by myself. 
nice and grungy and gross. I love it. So yeah. That one made me a little sad too. That and Planet Dragons. I was like, ew, why haven't I done more? Like I have all the beads separated nice. Like this is ready to go. So I don't know what it is, why I'm not more inclined to work on it. Because I, I enjoy it when I get it out. I just not drawn to it. I, I tend to be like kids like that. I don't know. Sorry, my kids are screaming. They're fighting over something God knows what. Something ridiculous. All right, we're getting toward the end, guys. Let's see, I think I have one, two, and then my knitting, I think. I've lost count. Like, I didn't keep count as I went through. Sorry, itchy nose. Let's do my smalls. I have two smalls that are going to eventually live in my journal that I showed earlier. Um, the first one that I started, I don't know if I have these for these. Oh, wow. This got started in January. This is from Just Cross Stitch something. Probably 2012, because I think I was starting at 11 and going 12, 13, trying to do like smalls for magazines. I don't know. I know I have like a really bad black and white picture of this, and I don't have any other picture. Oh, yeah, this is dreadful. You're not going to be able to see anything. Winifred, kind of an icky picture. And this was, do I write it down? I don't know. I'm just not drawn to get my smalls out. And I don't know why. Because I love my journal. It's just, I like big projects. I'm doing all the called for DMC. And then there was a couple fancies in there. Like her, like those greens I think are fancy flosses. This is uh, Eek. I actually got this in um, my box last year from Black Needle Society. Their Halloween box. She's so cute. She needs to be in my journal. I think this is 18 count. Yeah. I love that fabric. It's pretty. I have it uh, for one of. I have it in one of my kitted projects too. And then my other small. I do have like a fancy or a good picture of it. I won this from Athena at uh, Goddess Stitching Designs. She had a giveaway, and three of us won, and we were stitching this together. It came with the buttons and the linen. And then I got all the fancies for it. I used the fancy floss. Since I don't really have a big fancy floss conversion, I don't mind. Um, when it, oh, here's the little floss video I have for that. Little Alice. Or not Alice. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Brain shut off. And then here is where I've gotten to. I do not like linen. And it's not the two over two, that's fine. Even weaves are okay. But it's just my, my X's look weird. And it's just because it's not quite even. I don't know. So that's where I got, this was a new start this year. So, not very far. But it will get done. I need to take these, like, and put them in my bag and have this be, like, travel stitching. And I would definitely get them done faster. I think I just have one more, friends. Just one more. And then knitting. I can't forget my knitting. So this one lives in a very special bag. This is a special project that has a special bag. I contacted... Who else? Lovely Karina. Oh, that is stuck. Um, so weird. Um, and I wanted to start a shadow lane, but I wanted it all my stuff together, like together where it's supposed to be all together. So she made this. She, I sent her a copy of the um, materials. And she made it especially for this project. All the beads, all the sparklies and stuff, all the silks are down here. Put a little tape on those labels so they don't come off. And then after I'm done with my shadow lane, like 
I can use this for other things. And then it has like pockets on this side. This thing is so cool. I love this. She did such a good job. She like made it perfect. So let's see this tiny, I just have a small start, which is fine with me. This is gonna be like a long-term project. Oh, you don't even know what it is. I just started talking about it, didn't even tell you what it was. This is Halloween, Halloween Kitty by um, Shadow Lane. Here is what it's gonna look like. And then here's how far I got, which isn't very far, but that's okay. This is definitely like a project I wanna go slow on, really take my time with, um, and make sure it's done right. So I am stitching in this on linen, actually. Um, 32 count, I think, on Mummy by Bestitch Me. And here's why I've gotten to. Just a wee little guy. I think this guy and the library are going to come out in October. If all goes well. Look at that linen, it's really pretty. So I just have it kind of like in a special pillowcase to keep it safe. It shares and bars with um, all souls. Just put it away so carefully. Okay. That's all my cross stitching whips, friends. So let's do one knitting. I just have the one knitting whip. I started knitting this year, just like when it was cold. I don't knit now because it's hot and miserable. When it gets cold again, I guarantee you I'll be knitting again. When did I start this? January 5th is uh, this year, 2021. This is the Hue Shift Afghan um, that I got from Knit Picks. Random weird thing there. Um, here is kind of what it'll look like when it's done. I got it as a kit from their website. And everything is done except for the borders. So I need a border here. Sorry, this, this does, my camera cannot cope with the colors on this, I'm sorry. Trust me, it's gorgeous. And then down here, these sides are done, whole border is done. And I had started it up here, but a mistake had happened very early on, so I actually pulled it out so I could restart it. I think if I just do a little bit at a time, you can kind of see the colors. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry, my camera is confused. There's plenty of mistakes. It was a good learning curve. I loved it though. I love it. And then next up, when this is done, I'm going to start learning to do cables. Because why not? I don't do things halfway. That's my whips. It's a lot. It was a lot. So I'm going to pause for just a moment. Infinity cube in here. Um, kind of organize things just a wee bit and then we'll move on to the next portion. There's one more whip, but it's not my whip. I have a special guest today. My youngest son Nathan started cross stitching and he wants to show what he's done. Nate? So. Oh, come over here so they can see you, buddy. Oh. Hi. Um. There you go. Look, there you are. Um, I've been doing this cross stitch for a while now. Um, it's supposed to be easy. My mom might show a picture of it. Maybe. Here's a picture of the pattern. So I can just pop one in. So he's starting with the first one. There's nine of them, and then he's gonna. St he started with the first one. Go ahead and show. Get nice and close to the so, camera so they can see your pretty stitching. And when I was doing my cross stitch here, um, it's supposed to be a bunch of these that mom showed. And um, this is supposed to be the fire one. And then I'm going to be wearing like clockwise around the circle and then the easy in the middle. What is that about talking about that? Mm. Um, this is actually um, my cross stitch that I have been doing all by myself. My mom um, has done the first two stitches of it. Yeah, I help him like anchor his floss and mm. help him end his floss. But all those stitches are his. And look at them. Look at how pretty they are. I think this is 10 count Ada. 
He's using all the calls for DMC. But look at how good he's doing. He's using Pattern Keeper for that, right? Yeah. Use my phone. Good job. Do you want to show the thing you want to stitch next after you're done with that? You want to show your owl? Uh, yeah. No? Okay. You don't have to. All right. Do you have anything else to say about it? Look at the camera. Yeah. No? All right. Well, thank you for sharing your cross stitch. Maybe when you get more done, you do want to come and visit us on Floss Tube again sometime? Okay. okay. Have fun. I'll be done filming soon. Don't let the dog up yet. I'll be done filming soon. He's so uncommon. He's so precious. So yeah, he started cross stitching. And he's like, I mean, it was months ago. It was months ago when he started stitching. So he hasn't gotten very far, but he does like it. He just doesn't sit real well. He does not sit real well. He's a busy kid. So I love this so much. And I love that we sit and stitch together sometimes and it makes me so happy. So, that's my youngest Nathan. He's seven. So now, that is officially all the whips that we have in my home. Another screaming. Anyway, what's my plans? So, I'm going to be filming again in another month, and there might be a short video. I want to finish Halloween Quaker in a month. Two pages left. I really want to finish it before my birthday. And then periodic table. So I want to get that done. I have two things I want to start. And I've been like going, I've been oscillating back and forth. Like do I just go ahead and start them and whatever? But I'm like 20 is like a good amount of whips. Like perfect. I'd really like to start some things before, or <laughs> start some things before I finish. So that's pretty accurate. I really want to finish a couple things before I have new starts. So I'm going to push on periodic table. That won't be a finish, but I, I'm going to do like two weeks on periodic table and like two weeks on Halloween Quaker and see if I can get them finished. Now I get bored and I like to switch projects a lot. So we'll see if I can manage, but I'm going to give it a good college try. The two things I want to start, I'll just pop in pictures. Um, this is from a magazine. You can see the magazine like cottage crafts, country work, blah, blah, whatever. It is a pattern for my husband, who's a carpenter. I really want to start that. It's kitted. I haven't completely figured out fabric, but I have plenty of choices. And then that mag, that booklet was kind of like my unicorn chart, the seed packets. And of course, I'm not doing them individually, because why would I do things, something small? It has to be enormous. Um, I'm doing them in sets of eight. Yes, so it'll be two sets of eight. So I already have it all planned out. I'm gonna do the first set on this fabric. This beautiful blue fabric. It has a few stitches. I've been frogging those out. This was a start I did a long time ago and decided there was no way. So this first set of seed packs are gonna go on here. The first one I'm going to start, I have it kitted. I just ordered the threads for it. I can't remember. I can't remember what the first one is. I have tomatoes? No, I don't know. It doesn't matter. So those are the two starts I really want to go and start. But I really want to have them finished first. So that's my plan. So next blast tube, if I only have two whips, it'll go pretty quick. Um, is that it? Let me just check my book. Yep. So now we're going to go on to haul and stitchy kindness. I have some amazing stitchy kindness. I have such a high pile of stuff. I can't even right now. So let's do haul. I have some really cool haul. Um, some of it, um, it just took a long time to get here. They came from England and it took a long time, um, which is fine. It's nothing to do with the shippers. They're amazing. It's just shipping took a long time. Um, so this guy course of course but look at it it's so good this blows in the dark and his bones she showed this fabric and I um Karina of course from bags plus showed this fabric and I sent a message to her like immediately saying I want something 
the, look at them. It's that dark. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, so yeah, that came. It's so good. That will be for like the seed packets, I think. And then I ordered, I've done a special order with Karina. She's going to make me a 45 pocket flip with like tool themed fabric. And then this is another special one. I got this from Lady Bird Designs. I will link her down below. Um, this was going to be my birthday start, but this might be like my new year new start because I have those other two I really wanted to start. So it's Kingdom of Books. It's a kit. It's a Russian kit. But it, there's a lot to it. So I wanted to order, instead of doing bobbins for this because the threads are already cut, my friend extra x stitcher from instagram she told me about floss folders i'm like oh wait what is this magic so i went to ladybird.creates i think again it'll be linked and i did a special order with her um i picked out some like bookish fabric that she like it was special made so and this is like probably a little over full it's kind of big so it's agatha christie books and then on the inside, then there, and then there were none, right? Yeah, and then there were none. And so I have all my floss cards. Let me get nice and close. There. And then I use, like, um, Sharpie, and then I put tape over it so it doesn't wear off. But when I'm done with the project, you know, someday, I can just use alcohol and remove those numbers so that these cards can be reused. So I have all my floss in here. I have this probably a little overstuffed, to be fair. But it still all fits and it works. And then with it, you get a little pouch. And then a little work container in here. With the accent fabrics. Amazing. She had this done fast. And shipping just took a while, with, which, which was not in her control at all. Um... But I love this. This is so cool for like a kit. You know, I prefer bobbins, but when it's already cut and stuff like that, this is amazing. So I've been really, I'm really, really happy with this purchase. And so it's all ready to go. So when I'm ready to start Kingdom of Books, it's, it's set. And it, probably in the new year. It was going to be my birthday, but then I really was thinking about the seed packets and then the tool thing. And I'm like, I think I want to start those first. All right, so there's some haul. What other haul do I have? I found this guy at Half Price Books for a really good deal. Magical cross stitch. There's some really good things in it. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure most of you have probably seen this book. But I got it pretty inexpensively. find one of my favorites in here there's lots of really cool options from a variety of um designers oh and here's the phoenix i really liked the phoenix oh this one was good right there i don't know if they're arguing about sorry there's that. I got that like, it was like a long time ago. And then I, of course, I'm not going to do any kind of flip through. I got the Halloween, this cross stitch. I have a subscription to this magazine. I don't know if I'm going to keep it because it's like, I don't like the winter patterns. I mean, I get, I like the Christmas ornament ones because it'd be cool on my journal. But it's like the Halloween ones and the fall ones are the ones I'm like really interested in. So when my subscription lapses, I'm probably just going to let it go and just buy, like, the few um, patterns I really want. Or a few magazines. So they have, like, themes in this one. It's, like, monsters. I'm sure all of you have seen these. Like, the wee monsters are so cute. But the, the, all the, a lot of these will be good additions to my journal. And then I was already kind of talked about this. K is for kidney stone. So um, who, it was Lindy Stitches 
has this on her website, and it's designed by um, Beth Twist from Heartstring Samplery. I already have all the fancy floss for it, and it's ready to start. Um, I think next she's going to do like pancreas, and so I might wait to start until I have them both and try to finish them both like I did my other one that you saw. Um, what was her charity? Oh, Lindy Stitches Charity is a really good one, and I can't remember exactly what it was. Go to our website and check it out. Um, it's for children who age out of the foster care system. It helps them transition. So instead of just being thrown out with nothing, they help transition them into society and help them, It's which is amazing. So there's that, and all the floss hurts over there somewhere. All right, so one more haul and then on to my stitchy kindness. I got some, okay, unsurprisingly, my battery died. So I, I was going through my Bestitch Me, um, so I'll start from where I left off. Um, I got this in her Friday Night Fight Night. It's a silk, 50 yards of all the colors. Really pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but it's going to be amazing. So pretty. And then I have my silk of the month and my fabric of the month. The silks for July. They're green. I'm so excited. Because I was just looking through all my silks from her. I'm like, there's like not green. And green is my favorite color. I love green. So I was so excited this month. Uh, this is, I get 18 Count Ada in her Fabric of the Month. Um, I'm in the Blended group. Sorry, it's crinkly. Sorry about that. Um, so one month I get a neutral, and then the next month I get one of her colored fabrics. This month was my neutral turn. It's called Scroll. Here it is. It's really pretty. I actually might use this one for the tool thing for my husband. I'm going to go through, like, my neutrals and pick one, but this one has really pretty modeling and stuff. It's coming out pretty true. Really pretty. Um, I'm not a huge neutral fabric user, typically. I really like colored fabrics. I'm pretty adventurous, um, but I, I'm glad to be getting some of what of a stash of it. And then eventually, after my son's bedroom is done, downstairs they've been building his bedroom it's like almost complete um we're gonna redo this basement stairs and then it's gonna be my craft corner so excited so instead of having a whole craft room I didn't need that much space we're gonna it's gonna be like a hallway area but it's gonna be all my craft stuff there'll be plenty of space for that so excited let's go on to the silks of the month beautiful greens I need to do some organizing and putting things on bobbins and I have a lot to do. Always. So let's look at all these greens. I love them all so much. Mojito. These are coming out pretty true, guys. Pistachio. Kind of like a limey green. Kind of a bright green. Pistachio is one of the few nuts I like. I like pistachios and almonds. I'm not a huge nut eater. Succulent. This one's good. Variegated. Grass. So pretty. And then last but not least, swamp. I would love get a whole bunch it's eh, it's not quite as dark as it's showing up but I would love to do a whole long dog in this color it's like a more of a forest yeah there, there you go that's better it's so pretty so right there is pretty true to color I'm just gathering them all together there they oh my god are they so pretty I love them so much. And before I go on to my stitchy kindness, I realized I did not show one of my fully finished objects. Um, the reason I forgot, it was in my notes, but I forgot because I don't have it. It was the gift I gave to my mom. 
I did show it last video, like framed, um, but here it is. It's um, Al Forest Embroidery's Emerald City, and it was complete, I don't know. Go back and watch my last video if you really want to know. I just wanted to show that because I had forgotten. I mean, I had five finishes, so I need to celebrate each and every one of them. My mom loved it. She loved it. So that was done in silks, done by Miss Seda Silks. That stitch was fun. That hot air balloon was my favorite. So that's that. Now, stitchy kindness. Extra X Stitcher, I've talked about her lots of times. I'm going to link her Instagram below. She does some really cool projects. We have become really nice friends. She's lovely. I'm hoping if COVID doesn't keep sucking everyone's life, um, that we can go to StitchCon together. Because I need to meet her, like, actually in person and, like, hug her an uncomfortably long time. But, um... She sent me a, a, some stitchy kindness. Um, I'm going to show some of this stuff just kind of quick. She sent me some flosses. She's not a huge bobbinator. So she sent me her bobbinated stuff. Always want DMC. Always. And then she sent me this little wax thing. We're both x-ray hacks. So this is could not be more perfect. It's a skull wax. Look at him. I'll call him Boyd. He looks like a Boyd. She sent me some snips, which is, I didn't really have any snips for my travel bag. I have like five weeks of overnights coming up. It's the only time I stitch at work is overnights because sometimes we're not terribly busy and I have to keep myself awake. So I'm going to put this in my bag. Um, part of being understaffed, we can't get some, we've had, there's a position that needs to be filled for an overnight tech that has not been filled yet. And so I'm going to fill in for a while. Hopefully we get someone hired. I was promised if um, they hire someone, I'll get pulled off nights. I mean, they're not the worst thing I've ever done overnights. I just don't, I don't want them. It's just hard transitioning. But it is what it is. Sorry, Brucey's getting tired of being downstairs. This little holder some stickers that'll go in my journal but the best stuff oh my god best stuff she sent me some needles there's a ball tip needle in there my favorite but these last three things are my favorite so she sent me this guy look at it i'll probably use this as like a needle holder it's probably what i'll use it for but look at that fabric And then she sent me this mirror, which I'm totally excited to do. I do have one other, I have Lady Justice, right? Justice. Let's see it. There we go. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Look at that dress. Oh, I love this so much. But this, she went on Clay by Kim. And she got us, like, similar needle miters. I can't remember what she named hers. X-ray, um, put down in the description box, if you want to comment, in a comment, remind me what you named yours. Aurora? Something like that. I think it was, like, Aurora or something. Here's the one she got me. I love him so much. So much. I named mine Luna because Luna is amazing. Sorry, I'm my camera does not focus great up close, and I'm aware of that. I'm really sorry. Um, someday I will invest in a better camera. This one isn't very expensive. Yeah, oh, Luna's just a little fuzzy. There she is. I love this so much. I'm, I'm glad I finally shared it so I can go on a project like immediately. I love Clay by Kim. I'm really hoping to get a Halloween themed Clay by Kim. So let's put, let's put Luna back. That's it. You guys survived. I have no idea how long this video is. 
but I just want to say thank you to every one of you, every one of you who subscribe, don't subscribe, watch. The friends I have make, made because of Floss Tube is the reason I do Floss Tube. I just want to connect with you, be friends with you. Um, all, every single view is very precious to me. Every single subscriber is very precious to me. Sorry, Brucey's tired of being downstairs. Um, so just thank you for being part of the X-Ray Squad. So I would like, hold on. Oh no, it's buried somewhere. So I would like to do a little giveaway. Of course. What's it going to be? What am I going to give away? Ah, there it is. I had set it on top and I immediately put my mirror on it. So, I have lots of favorite things. But my favorite, favorite, favorite thing, you guys know, I have a million of them, are my bags plus. So actually, when my phone was going off, it was Karina. I had messaged her because she has some more of these in her shop. And I want to give one away to you guys. So we'll be like buddies. I'm not sure what the inside of hers and her shop are. They might be a different inside. I'm not sure. Um, but she set one aside for me. So when she sends my special order, she's going to send me this too. And it's going to be one of yours. It will be Floss Buddy Twins. How amazing is that? And of course it has to be bone themed because I have the X-Ray X picture, right? So what do you need to do if you wanted to be entered for this amazing little it's 28 pockets and then it has a zippy um i'd like it if you're a subscriber it's really okay if you're not um i'm more about the community than the numbers so but please i hope you like my video and watch it and you like a, a stitcher like you have to be a stitcher please um, you have to be 18. You cannot give me your address if you are not 18. I am not a creeper, so be 18. And then what I want you to do is I want you to use the word favorite in the comments. Um, because these are my favorite thing. These are my favorite thing to use. It makes my stitching faster. I love it. And then this guy is my other favorite. My, um, flowery stand. I got it for Mother's Day. Not this Mother's Day, but the previous Mother's Day. They make my stitching go so much faster, but I'm not giving away a Lowry this time. Sorry, guys. Maybe someday. But I want to share this with you. It glows in the dark. It's awesome. So use the word favorite. Tell me what your favorite whip is. Tell me which whip of mine is your favorite. What whip is on your wish list that you wish you had that's your favorite on your wish list? Just tell me. Favorite. And you could be entered to win this. When is it going to be given away? Um, I'm going to draw a winner on the 11th of September. Just be mindful. It took me a long time to get this one. It took a couple of months for me to actually have this in my possession. So just, I promise you will get it. It just might take a minute. It's just shipping. Karina can't control it. I can't control it. It took like two months for me to get this. So just be aware it might take a while. But I will get it to you. And I can't wait to share one with you. That's it. We survived. Happy one year floss tube anniversary to all my friends, to everybody. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I hope you enjoyed Nate. And if you stay this long and listen, me, listen to me fumble my words, thank you. And I love you so much. I will see you on the 11th of September. Bye, friends.